This is another new Black World Order TV Productions. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Chopper, chopper. What's happening, Brother Wim? What's up, Soul? Yes, sir. Salam alaikum. Salam. How you doing, brother? All right. Welcome to New Black World Order TV. Exactly. And you know, we family. Like we actually flesh and blood family. This is my physical cousin, right? right? We're also family as we're related to each other. Far as Elijah Muhammad's teaching. That's and right. I brought you to here today because I need an expert such as yourself, uh, one with the experience such as yourself, to answer these questions. Sure. Because most people need to know the answer to these questions. Come on, My first you. question is, what is the meaning of FOI? That's a great question. But first of all, let me open up in the most holy name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. The one God to whom all praises are due forever, the Lord of the world. And I would also like to thank the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan at this moment because of his guidance. I wouldn't know where I would be, so I give props where props do regardless. That's right. And I'd like to thank all my brothers. I'd give a special shout out to those in Mississippi. Uh, I'd like to say greetings to Brother Abram, Brother Mr. Abram down there, student Mr. Abram, Brother Samuel, also Atlanta, also down in uh, Alabama and all those other places, and also in Vegas. Well, the first question is, what is the meaning of FOI? Amen. All right, soldier. Donald Balaji Muhammad gave us a lesson, and he gave us a quote behind that. And he said, the meaning of FOI is fruit of Islam. We all know that. However, when you begin to delve into the meaning of it, it is the military training given to the men who belong to Islam in North America. Now the question is, what is that military training? It is nothing secret, you know. Of course, we learn hand-to-hand -hand combat, some of us do. Right. Um, of course, we learn how to resurrect the dead, some of us do. And of course, it talks about how our charity is most important. Some but, of us do. Some of us do. <laughs> but the most important thing, our job is to go out and save the dead or to resurrect the dead, not the physical, because once you're there, you're not coming back unless you know someone who has. But the military training that is given to the men, of course, you know, we are disciplined. But also, you know, we are loyal. And the most important thing is FOI, what we are, we are men of our word. But that military training that we actually have, man, is to be disciplined and, and, and to get into yourself and have a knowledge of self. But also you have to understand that we have our people Teach. are dead people. Teach, brother. And the minister said our people are so dead that they will make you want to kill them. Now, we all know you go bring a person to knowledge of self, and they, they get to talking crazy. I don't want to hear that MF. I don't want to do this. That's fine. However, let me say this, too, and I'm going to get back to that subject. I'm here in Richmond, Virginia today with my cousin, Brother Lawrence. Y'all right. know who he is. King you know, Shah. You know, King Shah, pretty mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. And I remember there was a time when the whole city, no matter where you went, even here, you would see in there for a while or someone, you know, with the teachings, with the final call. Or the Muhammad speech. Or the Muhammad speech. Soldier. But the bean pies, the carrot cakes, the the oils, the incense like you are doing, all of that because this was a means like Master for the Art Muhammad came and he said he had silks. He had a means by which to get into the people houses. You gotta have a means by which to reach our people right. unless you got some rap. But you know, right now, you know, you're not gonna put on, you know, young thug and try to reach our people. So we had a method by which we go and we reach our people. So the silks was a manner in which he got into the because we love silk, it's pretty. But today, in 2018, you're not gonna carry no silks to nobody's house because you know your man carrying some silks. I'm gonna look at you kind of crazy, you know. Are you gay or something, you know? Okay. No offense. Right, but right. I'm just keeping. Well, I'm not going to buy a silk dress. At that time, when he did that, right. the Negro was poor, and they appreciated somebody that brought Absolutely. them some type of luxury. Absolutely. So the meaning of the FOI, when we go to our people now, what method do we use now? Instead of being on the streets, they have taken, made it against the law for the FOI to be on the street. And guess who's on the street now? Once again, no offense, but it's the truth. You got people on the signs now, homeless people, which, you know, they got to do what they got to do. But how you make it illegal for a brother with the truth to come and take him off the corner, but then you allow people who's actually on the street begging for money, sometimes they done put pistols in your face. 
How you allow the truth to be taken off the street, but then allow this type of conduct, and they don't say anything, nothing whatsoever. So we have to find a way. So I came into the city, and the first thing I said was, we're all there for a This is nothing against you, but however, this is our job. Our job is to find a way to reach our people. So when you ask the question, what is the meaning, in other words, it's saying define what the fruit of Islam is. And Ambalaj Muhammad said it's the best part of the tree. You know, the fruit is the edible part. The fruit is the part by which you get all your sustenance from. The fruit is the part by which you feed yourself. Well, we got to look at it as well. When you're FOI, what are you feeding the people? You know, our people are dead, so you can't come with your machoism. You can't come with your titles. You can't come with your posts. You have to come to our people as they are. So when I go around and I look, I'm looking for that FOI. I'm looking for that man who's going to go to the people like Master Allah Muhammad did in the darkness. And our job is to go and to resurrect them and give them a knowledge of self and give them pride in themselves so they can stand up. When you don't see that, then there's something drastically wrong. So the meaning of the FOI, it is indeed that military training given to um, the men who belong to Islam in North America. Well, where's the training? When you go through training as, let's just say, a football player, you go through training, you go through these different obstacles to make you a better player. So when you get on the field, we see Ezekiel running, or we see um, a Dickinson running, and we can see it. So when you ask the question, the meaning of the FOI and our training, you're supposed to see the same thing. You know, it's no, no good to go into the mosque, into the temple, or to the synagogue on, on, on these certain meeting days. And then when the days are over, you go into the house of worship, coming out in the same condition and you left. You don't go into the house of God and come out the same man. And I ask the question again, if Lil Wayne came to the Coliseum and they said Lil Wayne is there and tickets are free, it would be packed. There would be pandemonium there. But when we say that the knowledge of God is here, why aren't our people packing it? Well, in order for the people to pack the house, you got to be out here in it. Right, you, you got, got you to gotta, be you, out there. Yeah. So part of your military training is not only knowing who you are, the lessons are fine. But when you say you are the original man, if you say you are the God of the planet Earth, then you suppose to take God, the minister said, that when you talk about what is a God, he said it's a person with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, backed by power and force. You can have all the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding you want. You can sound good, all that sound good. But if you don't have power and force back behind your words, you know it's useless. So when I look around and I look at the condition of our people, we did a survey the other day. And right. we said, we're going to see what happens. The man told me in the store, Muslim brother. And once again, this is not bad mouth. I'm just showing you the mindset of people who belong to Islam, so they say. The brother was, was a Muslim, and he said that, uh, you know, I asked him, I said, no, he asked me, he said, how can you have a name William and then have Muhammad? He's sort of making mockery how you can have a slave name, if you will, with a Muslim name. So I explained why we keep our first name. So then I told him, I said, well, you got the right name. You got a thousand more your name that long. Mm -hmm. All in Arabic. The brother has, he's a Qura. He has memorized the Holy Quran verbatim. So Verbat I asked him, I said, well, you got all the knowledge. You got the whole Quran in your head verbatim. And you can quote every ayat or every verse, every surah or every chapter. And I said, well, if that case, I said, what are you doing? I said, I didn't hear you say one thing about Islam when you came into the store. I said, but then I go in the back, you got bacon sandwiches back there. What the hell? I go in the back, you got pickled pig feet. Right. Come on, bro. So I, let me get this straight now. He wouldn't sell that to his children. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't eat it. But he'll sell it to our but people. But he'll sell it to our people. So here we go again. You have the Holy Quran here in your head. You can quote every verse. I said, but you won't tell one person, I said black person, specifically about the knowledge of Islam that you have for yourself. He didn't reply to me. He said, they don't want to listen. They not going to listen to me. I said, oh, 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 I said, what do you mean they not going to listen to you? I said, you never tried. Did the Arabs of Arabia listen initially? No, no, they didn't. They rejected. They rejected. So two young young men came in, young black men, it was 18 and 19. I teach, said, brother I said, William, I'm going to put you to a test. He said, they not going to listen. I said, well, you want to put up a cup of coffee on 
He says, okay, bet. No, we don't gamble, so there ain't no need you talking about the way he gambling. Man, say that for Say that about gambling, that. but you selling the pork. So, yeah, yeah, but you selling the pig, the pig. But you don't gamble. So, so the, the brothers came in. I said, bro, let me ask you a simple question. They said, sure, didn't even know me from Adam and Eve, came in, dug, dug, hooded up. You know, I said, let me ask y'all a question. This, I, I was watching him at the he backs up. I said, my God. What do he back up from? Uh, because, because of the fear of our feet. Oh, you say you got Islam, but Islam don't make you feel nothing. You say Allahu Akbar, you're going to go blow a building up. You're going to say jihad, you're going to kill up 80,000 uh, 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 refugees or whatever, but you ain't going to go to the people. So I asked the brother. I said, man, if I were to tell you, I said, let me ask you a question first. I said, well, what's your religion? He said, one brother said, hey, ain't nothing. I don't believe in none of that so-and-so. Other brother said, I'm a Christian. I said, fine. I said, well, let me ask you a question. I said, what was Jesus last night? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I said, That's a powerful question. I said, I said, what's your daddy last night? He said, why? I said, no, I'm not being disrespectful. So he told me his dad, I said, what's your cousin last name? He gave him his last name. I said, but here's the man that you consider God, the most important entity on the planet, and you don't know his last name? So the, so the Arab dude tried to intercept me. I said, no, wait a minute. You didn't want to say nothing in the beginning. But now, but, but now you want to Now you prove that they listen. Absolutely. That was the first thing. But, but you know, he on the road. I said, hold on, bro. Hold so, on. So the dude said, I want to hear what he got to say. So now he said, well, you know, I have the Quran. Memorize. Hold up. We ain't talking about what you got memorized. Right. We talking about what your mind say and what your body do. Teach, brother so Muhammad. I told it, brother. I, I said, well, don't you think it's important to know everything about God? He said, yeah. I said, well, is Jesus God? Dude said, no. I said, okay. I said, well, you know all these other people last name. So the brother said he didn't have a last name. I said, well, wh why, wh who, who said that? He said, well, I don't know. I said, why you don't know? Come so, on. So then the Arab came back. He says, well, um, let me ask you a question. Here it is. Now, now, now check now out what he he's wants putting to, in. Yeah. But, but th now, this is one that has the word of God in his mouth. Listen at what he tells the young boy. He says, let me ask you a question. He says, if a man like me come from Saudi Arabia or come from, from Pak Afghanistan, he said, if an Arab like me came to you, you know, would you listen? Dude looked at him and said, no, I wouldn't listen. I said, so now, I said, I said, being that you put that in the game, I said, why wouldn't they listen to you? Because the Quran says so, that a messenger must be raised among the people he intends yeah, to man. warn. Absolutely. So when you start talking, what's going on, brother? Oh, Slumma like on. Yeah, this brother yes, William. Sir. Yeah, brother William Muhammad. You know, know yes, brother William Muhammad? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so here That's he my is. cousin. So, so when you begin to talk about messengers coming to people, both books say that God will not raise a people unless he raised monks from amongst themselves. Why? Because God already knows you're going to have a reason to reject. Because of the language barrier. Because of the language, because of the racial tension, because of whatever. But when God sends you one straight out of Jackson Wall, where well, smoke slave every day. But one from Moe's Court. Moe's Red Court, Street. Craig and Craig and Coat, all the hillside. But when and you have clean them up from among yourself, and stand them up on his feet. Absolutely. So you have no reason because you remember what he was and considered what, what he, he is doing now. Today. So I told the Arab guy, I said, no, let me tell you the real reason why you haven't said, you won't say nothing to our people, I because you fear our you. Because all y'all understand is that we are murderers, we are killers, and we are dope people. I said, but... I understand the nature of our people and why they are here. I said, you got the book in your mind, but you are ineffective, ineffective to the people. Right. I said, but here it is, a man who gives the knowledge. Let's use Minister Farrakhan as an example. As an example. Now, Minister Farrakhan, you hate him for what? You, you say that he's a racist. You say he's this and that. But I don't see none of y'all doing, doing nothing. Right. So you have the culture. You have something we need, but you don't have that discipline and love for the people. You have to love our people more than they love themselves. That takes patience. And that is another criterion in of what, what is, is the meaning of an FOI. You have to be patient because our people are in a hell of a condition. So if you're not listening at the condition or looking at the condition of our people, then you'll never know. And if you're not in the condition, if you're not out there with our people, you're going to mess it up the whole time. So because of our training and because of who we are, our job is one, go out and seek that which is lost. 
you got a whole lot of practice out here. But what happens is we get on our pedestal. We get a little knowledge, and now we don't have the patience with our people that somebody took time to have patience with us. So now you get your posts, you get your lessons, you get all of this. And then you get your Facebook and become a Facebook absolutely. Muslim. So, absolutely. So now here comes a time where you have to go out and you have to teach our people. Let's put that to a test. Hey, excuse me, sir. Young bro. Excuse me, bro. Uh, excuse me. Woo-woo. Young bro. Say so woo. So woo. <laughs> woo. You heard that. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's tell you what. Let's put this to a test. Bring them in yeah, my bag. I'm coming over there. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Hey, I say no doubt, no doubt. I say, I say, Sue Wu, you did like huh? this. Uh, I said, Sue Wu, you start looking around. Yeah, I said, you know that blood call. Now, absolutely. Now look, here, here's, here's a prime. Hold on. What's up, little man? What's up, little man? Come on over here. You know me. Come on. He said, you know me. Truth All right, no doubt. Yeah. Now, uh, now, look, here, here's a prime example. Now, this guy right here sometimes, yeah, I, I see him down on, all over the city. Friend of mine, you know, friend of all hours. Right, right. Now, I've been knowing him for example, a minute. example, have you ever had one time any other Arabs or Afghanistan down at the store ever stop and teach you about Islam? Anybody? Of course not. Why? Give you a Quran? Give you a Quran? Tell you to become a better person? Listen. This section off to, to the, they rather deal with they people in America. I mean, maybe in another country they more open to diversity, but in America, you don't want to bother with us. Why? Why you think that, so? I don't know. I'm, I'm, See? Know. See what I'm saying? Right. However, if I step out there and I go into the masjid, I got to know the 30,000 prayers in Arabic, and I ask the brother, I said, hold on, bro. How are you going to teach a people a language that, first of all, they don't understand? First of all, teach them the English equivalent. Then when they begin to say it in Arabic, they know what the hell they saying. Right. You can't just teach a person because I'm not going to feel that. I'm going into prayer and everything's in Arabic. I have no idea what I'm saying. Thank you so much. No doubt. Love Black you, power, man. bro. Absolutely. See you later, little man. Uh, now. Chopper, chopper. Chopper. <laughs> now, back. To, now, see what I'm saying? Now, see. If we who had the knowledge as you can, or if you will, of self, see how easy that took two seconds. That's all you need. You don't need a whole lot of time. Meaning of the FOI, they are dependable. Now, when you become dependable, that means that you are reliable. And if you are reliable, here comes another one in the meaning of the FOI. You are trustworthy. Yes, I mean. Let me, let me say that again. I you mean. You are trustworthy. How can you say you're trustworthy? Brother, sometimes, you know, I can't even trust you with my wife. I can't trust you with $10. Right. You talking about trust you with my life? I live and die for a lot. Who are you living and dying for? You're supposed to live and die for this right out here every single day. It's 30 degrees out here. Mm -hmm. And me and my cousin Lawrence are out here trying to give a video, and people are listening. They are listening while you're joking. This is your master right here. Right. If you want to put it to a test, I guarantee you I can go I'm out, out here, here every day you, teaching the law fam. As a matter of fact, bro, we can put it to a test. Give me one week by the will of Allah, bro. We have enough people out here to go. We will form our own mosque, our own synagogue, our own church dedicated to the resurrection of our people. So you can't put our people heads up in the sky and what's going on after death. Death happens right here. Death started on the physical level. And you doing, big brother? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jeff, how you doing? That, 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 that's my partner right yeah. here. Yeah. Jeff, Jeff started on the physical he, he level. He used to be a deputy down in jail. Yes, he did. Right, looked out for you. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, you know, and he and I thank him when he tell me, he said, brother, you're still doing the same thing. I appreciate you. Cause, and here's another thing, too, why we can't seem to get it right. None of us are perfect, but I don't care what post you got, what title you got, all of us are doing something. I don't care who you think you is, every lad, even you, all of us are doing something. Right, right. Something. Right. So therefore, how can you constantly sit and want to try to judge your brother or your sister for their sins when every day you go right back and you act a lie every night, some of you do, to forgive your, your sin, but as soon as you get off of, of, of the prayer mat, you go and then you begin to look at the greater sins of another. Here's another one that we have to understand as being FOI. Man, we're humble. 
What is the meaning we are humble. of FOI? You don't always have to be tough, guy. You're a humble man, and everybody's not going to take your point of view. My cousin and I don't agree on the same thing. We don't agree but, on everything. But, but I tell you what. You better not put your motherfucking hands on them. Absolutely better not put your hand on them. Put it like that. <laughs> and we get out here every day and be. Right. You know, but the thing is, he understands. I am the and local Richmond part. Million Man March organizing yes, committee. Are. The work that I do. Yes, you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, every day, I have seen him. I've seen Lawrence go out. I have been there. When when, when June, was right there on, on uh, what was that, Abner Clay? Abner Clay Park, July, Spent every year. Spent his money to get the equipment system. Spent his money to get the water. Spent his money to get the food. Spent his money to get the clothes out. And I, he said, bro, when will you speak there? I said, sure, I'll be there. But when I came there, you know what I expected? I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. If I didn't see nobody else, I expected to see the Air Force out there thick because they got a brother now that is actually doing the job. And it hurt because I didn't I was doing the job of an FOI Absolutely. because I went through the FOI training. Yes, 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 he did. So we have to get out among the people. It's going to be cold. But what we have to do, we have to learn that being an FOI is